Many countries have government bodies with funds available to support the development, production and distribution of films. But what kind of projects are they looking for? How they measure success? All this coming up. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video, my name is Anias Fura, I'm a film producer and in this channel every Thursday I share tips and tools to help indie filmmakers build their film strategies. So if you want to be part of this industry and this community, consider subscribing. Now let's jump into the video. In several countries, public funding becomes the key source to finance a film. Once you apply, these entities will look at your film project and decide whether or not it is interested enough or culturally significant that they should be supported. First, let's make clear that they usually fund talent that is at different stages of their career. The new filmmakers with their first or second film and the filmmakers more experienced. Second, they also invest quite a lot of money in short filmmaking, the development of the filmmaker, like trainings and workshops, and the idea itself. When it comes to a film project, they pay special attention to the work that exists from that filmmaker to get a sense of their particular approach, their particular style, where the skills lie. For example, if a future film project is a dark comedy and that filmmaker has only ever made two rather sci-fi films, the evaluation committee will wonder if the filmmaker is capable to make that transition and how effective it could be. Whereas if someone's made two very assertive dark comedy short films and they have a script that is in the same line, they can see the read across. Another aspect they pay attention to is the idea. They are looking for most of all different ideas, that they are not entirely derivative of 10 things that have existed before, because there is a lot of filmmaking that is designed to please as many people as possible. That is why we have very commercial filmmaking which is looking to satisfy everyone. And that becomes quite repetitive. We can all identify similarities in those types of mainstream films. But the public funders are after ideas and filmmakers who are doing something unusual. And that means them having a very different tone of voice, approaching ideas from a different angle, writing in a particular way that make public funders feel like it's about something they have never seen before. Now, how do they measure the success of their selection? Well, success is just as much about developing the filmmaking talent and the film itself. The two go hand in hand. The first way they can measure it is on people in the audience actually enjoying the films that they are involved in financing and make them possible to exist. They can also measure it on the positive responses to the work, and that could be a very positive critical response and or a positive response from film festivals. One thing to keep in mind is that they also want to see some of the films that they are investing in define the odds, in terms of the creative risk that the filmmakers have taken and finding an audience anyway. That gives them something like a proof of concept this allows them to know that they can take risks and people will respond to the fact that they have taken risks as a public funder. Finally, another aspect to measure the success of the project selected is people having careers, because there is a quite a step drop-off from filmmakers who make their first film to those who make their second. It is in the sort of 70-80% range of people who go from making their first to having opportunity to make their second. So, a big measure of success is those filmmakers who they have supported on the debut film coming back around and making a second and hopefully a third and then a fourth. Remember that each country looks and measures the projects from different point of views. This is just an overview of some of the aspects they usually consider in the process of funding a film. Hit the like button if the video was valuable for you, you can also leave your comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and don't forget to subscribe to keep learning about the film industry every week. Keep crushing it and see you next time.